right, Dusty, who do you got? I have a Phil from Warren, Rhode Island. Hey, Phil, how you doing? What's your question? Um, hello. Uh, my question is that I started taking Ozempic for six weeks, and I stopped because of the things that were going on. I've not been able to eat well since. I've been sick on a daily basis, and I was unaware of this. And I don't know how you can find out if you have this new thing. I've not heard of gastroparesis. How can you find out if that's what my problem is? Talk to your doctor. Have you talked to your doctor? I have. Um, they're kind of unaware of it. They're, she said it should go away, and I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. But in the meantime, it is a very uncomfortable daily thing. I'll tell you what. Eat. I'll put you in touch with. I'll put you in touch with Fies, um, and see if he'll uh, help us out and uh, talk to you and tell you what to ask for in terms of uh, going to your uh, regular doctor or maybe you need to see a gastroenterologist. You know, so, somebody who deals with this particular uh, part of the body. Uh, so. Uh, the team will get back on with you, Phil, and they'll give you information. All right? Let me know how it goes. Next. Oh, those diet pills. Luke from Seattle, Washington. I told you to stop taking that stuff. Yep. Luke, what's your question? Cuomo, how are you doing? So you're a doctor now? No. Okay. No. I, t I told him to talk to his doctor. And <laughs> oh, okay. I said that I'll have the I team have help him out. Then. Okay. Go I, ahead. I have no doctor. I'm a doctor of laws. <laughs> I am a doctor of laws. I have a JD. What do you got? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so regarding the uh, historical UFO Congress hearing that we had uh, the other day or yesterday, so we heard a lot from witnesses, uh, certain information, specifics of information will be provided in a more secure and closed space. <laughs> Speaking on behalf of the small community that I'm a part of, it seems contradictory, right? We're trading one secret space for another. Uh, we wanted to uh, uncover the truth, hear some information, but we, it just sounds like we're trading from uh, one group of people with secrets to now a new group of people with secrets. Was that kind of a contradictory move on, on their end? No, not contradictory. Um, it's uh, about convenience. And I would at this point subscribe to the idea of progress, not perfection. And uh, we don't know anything so, you know, something is better than nothing. And we have to start there with the pressure and not get distracted and allow this to be waved away as fanciful or conspiracy fodder. Um, that this is about transparency. It's about them being honest about what they know and what their basis is for not talking about from a flight safety perspective, from a commercial flight safety perspective. All these pilots seeing all these things are all making it up. Doesn't have to just be about little green men. Doesn't have to be dismissed as only about the most fanciful of notions. Transparency or a basis for the lack of transparency is a very good goal. So give them a chance. They did it the right way yesterday. Let's see if they can do better. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.